Hey everybody, back on this roof project again today. So last time we removed the adhesive or silicon sealant on these B pillars. Richard's still working on the windscreen, nearly done with that now. And next I just need to get these big blobs of silicon or adhesive off the back here. I think what we'll do is go in with the multi-solve again, see if we can just break it down a little bit. And then I think the rest of it is just gonna be a lot of hard work with the plastic scraper. So let's get straight into it. Okay, managed to get off all that adhesive in the end. The multi-solve definitely helps. It just sort of seems to break it down, take some of the legwork out of it. Still an hour and a half just to get those four blobs off, but they're all off now. Just used a plastic scraper and in the end fingernails, and we managed to get there in the end. So what we've got now is just a spray bottle with some Surfix HD in. So what we're gonna do now is just clean off this top. The Surfix HD seems to be really good at sort of breaking down this of algae, green algae stuff. So yeah, we'll use that clean, um, we've got clean water and a sponge as well. Get this all cleaned off and then once that's cleaned off, we can think about moving to the sanding stage. This roof is looking a lot better now for a clean. The Surfix HD has certainly done its job. And then what I've also done is just cleaned up the adhesive on this back edge here. There was a, a piece of channel here that held the canopy system and it got an adhesive backing on it. So cleaned all that up as well and just cleaned this top off. And that's looking a lot better. So I think what we'll do now is we've got the mounting points for the handrails on the side here. So I think we'll just get those cleaned up and then we'll be ready to start sanding. All the mounting points are now cleaned up so uh, this is all now ready to sand. Also give it a wipe with acetone as well just to get rid of any adhesive residue that was left on here. Also just remove the last couple of bits of hardware off the back here so this is all bare now and also I've just masked off on the front windscreen if we're going to be coming down here with the sander just mask the screen off as well so don't want to touch that glass so let's get into some sanding
Okay, so this side now is all sanded. Interestingly, you can actually see the join marks here. So this is where the mouldings were joined. So what we'll do is we'll just fair these. I mean, they're pretty good anyway, but we will come in and just fair these just to make sure they're absolutely spot on. We've sanded down this B pillar as well, and also just started to start sand on the inside. This was actually painted with gel coat, probably at the factory. So there would be a joint just here and they painted it with gel coat and it got like brush marks in it. So we've just flattered those out and we'll be able to, we might need to gel coat it again, obviously, because we've just gone through a little bit here. Uh, it was already very thin there. So we'll gel coat it again and polish it. But that looks pretty good or will come up really good. And in fact, you could see again, join marks here. So this is a join mark where the, presumably the molding was joined. And that fact that goes all the way underneath and you can see it pops out on the other side. I don't know if the camera picks this up, but you see it here, actually there's another one here, look. There's a join mark here and it goes underneath and that was flow coated. And then I think the factory have flattered this back, but not actually polished it. And you can see it there. So what we'll do is we'll flat that and polish that and then that will come up really nice. In fact, we've done a test piece just here. So this was the same, so this was rough so we've just used 320 grit in the orbital sander and then we've just used the uh, rotary polisher with some fast cut in and that's come out really nice actually so yeah we'll be able to do that one down here and then we'll be able to do the same on these as well it just means that we don't need to actually do a lot to this just a bit of flatting and polishing and that will come up really nice and obviously we're painting the top black anyway so we won't need to do too much gel coating the only bit we have got to do is on these back edges so these will be white on here outside will be black inside will be white and again we've just had to flat this you can see the join mark here of the molding so it comes up through here so uh, we just flattered that back this has got brush marks in it so we'll get this nice and flat and then we'll re-gel coat this and we'll blend it over these corners and polish it and you'll never see it should should work really well that and should come out really nice so we've just got a little bit more work to do on these so i think what we'll do is we'll pop this little light out here this is rough sanded so i think we'll just use some 320 grit on here in the orbital we'll get this nice and flat and just see if we can get this looking good and polished and then at least we know then that this is going to come out okay and we can just concentrate on the black top <laughs> Okay, so that's turned out really well. We just flattered that with the 600 grit in the DA and then we came in with the polishing wheel and the fast cut polish and that's come out really nice. That join mark now is pretty much completely gone. So what we can do now is we'll be able to polish all of this at a later date and we'll know that this will come up basically like new. And that's the reason we've done this slightly out of sequence because if it hadn't have come up, then we'll be looking at um, sanding this whole inside of the moulding and look at refinishing this as well. But I don't think we'll need to do that, which is a, a bit of a result. And we'll be able to do the same on this side. Again, we've got some join marks from the factory. So we'll be able to flat those out and polish those and it will look like new. So now what we can do is we'll be able to concentrate on flatting the top of this piece at the front and also the radar arch ready for primer.
So this top's looking a lot better now, so we give this a good clean with some Surfex HD, uh, white with acetone and a sand, and that is now ready for some primer. And while I've been doing that, Richard has just removed the last piece of adhesive out of this windshield and down on that corner. Quite a lot of mess to tidy up, which is not a problem, we get that done. And this is what it looks like when we've got that sealant out. So there's still residue in there, so that what we're doing then is just coming in with an acetone rag and just trying to clean that out as much as we can. So I've started to clean this piece here. And what we're looking for is basically just to get it nice and clean, probably about five millimeters down inside here, or quarter of an inch. And that way we can wrap the paint over, and then when we seal this, we'll end up with a nice clean finish. What we don't want is the paint on the edge here, because it might chip or lift. So we want it down inside there, and then sealed in, and that will make a nice clean job. So we just need to get the rest of this out across the top here. everyone back on the boat today so carrying on with this prep of this top molding so we've got this back piece to sand we've got the top of the radar arch and then we'll just come under here and um, this is where we'll be wrapping the black round and underneath here where it's hidden and and you can probably see we've got some we've noticed we've got these sort of rough quite rough finish on some of these corners and I think what that is is that there's a join mark that runs all the way down the molding here and then that join we think goes up here and across so there would have been a, a lower part of the molding and the upper part of the molding and this is effectively that joint um, and what they've done is they've brushed on gel coat in certain areas to cover that and then I think because this was never never retailed as a boat they've not bothered finishing this they've not bothered flatting it and polishing it which is what they would normally would have done so we're gonna to have to just finish these pieces here first before we can paint but that's not a problem and we actually think this top part was molded in four pieces so you've got the, the top part here the lower part here and then you've got the back part of the beat what we call the B pillar and the front face of the B pillar in fact you can even see the joint marks uh, that run up this inside here and run up there and that was your, your joint and then that, that, that B pillar was effectively then jointed to this upper and lower part. <laughs> Radar arch is now sanded, so that's looking a lot better. And we've managed to get these corners looking good as well. They've come out nice and smooth both sides. And in fact, you can see where we've been sanding this back, you've got the joint line here of the mold, or the molding. And it goes all the way across there. And then also sanded 
across here as well. So that's all looking really good. Richard is just having a lie down. He's not had much sleep last night. And then I'm just gonna come here on the B pillar and we'll get this. This looks lots of work like where they've painted on some gel coat. Um, again, there's a joint here. So gel coat's been painted on at the factory, so we'll give this a, a sand with a sander, get that nice and smooth. And we've got the joint up here as well, which I was talking about earlier. So this is where this B pillar is joined onto this top and bo bottom molding. So again, that'll just want sanding, but that won't take too long. And Rich is just cleaning up this channel here, this window channel, so that we can get the paint inside there and then reseal it. But it's, uh, it's quite a task getting this adhesive out here, but getting there slowly with it. Okay, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.